Hello Tucson Unified Community, this is your Superintendent Gabriel Trujillo with an update on what your governing board did for you this final meeting of January 2024. Let's start with how we kicked the meeting off with the sweet sounds of Bloom Elementary, Bloom by two-way dual language school over on the east side. They had a wonderful performance with their first and second graders. Their OMA program, Opening Minds Through the Arts. I want to thank Principal Brunin Kant for her wonderful leadership there out at Bloom and for making it possible for our kids uh, to come out here and sing for us and share their love of music with the governing board. Good news, meals in the cafeteria are now free at lunch for every student in every school in the district. That's right. We have now, as a district, crossed the threshold of the percentage of students that are eligible to receive free lunch to the extent that we now qualify for free lunch everywhere. Now, students, if you're watching this, it's your job to eat. Take advantage of the delicious meals that are prepared by our hardworking food services employees in schools across the district. We're very, very proud of this accomplishment and we encourage each and every single one of our learners to fill up their stomachs so you can fill up your brains. We also have good news for the Rincon University High School community. Tonight, the governing board awarded a contract for a vendor to get the work started on the much needed repairs out of the auditorium and the gym. We know that the community has been challenged without the usage of these facilities. And tonight was a crucial first step in getting the work underway Thanks to the School Facilities Board, the district will be receiving almost $950,000 for this project at no cost to the district so that we can get our buildings back up and running for the Rincon University High School community. And congratulations to the employees of the district. Thanks to your governing board this evening, every employee in the district will be receiving a one-time payment. If you're a full-time employee, that payment will be $1,000. If you're a part-time employee, that payment will be $500. And if you're one of our hard-working guest teachers and subs, uh, if you've worked 40 days for us, you're gonna get the full $1,000. If you haven't yet worked the 40 days, we're gonna give you as much time as we possibly can to help you get to that 40-day mark to be eligible for the full payment. This is the last meeting in January, so before February 1 hits, I want to make sure that we celebrate our counselors and our crosswalk guards. It is going to be National School Counselor Day coming up here the first week in February, as well as National School Crosswalk Guard Day, also the first week in February. We want to take time out, celebrate these heroes that proudly serve children and young people in all of our schools. Thank you again for all of your support. Don't forget to follow us on social media, whether it's Instagram, X, Twitter, formerly now X, the district website, or any of our social media platforms. Do your best to keep up with all the wonderful things going on in TUSD. We'll see you next time.